Coach Timmons. You guys are, you're rolling. Lakota is rolling. Two weeks in a row, two titles. Yeah. Third overall in the big school, SBC division. Champs here at the sectional, but what, what's the division you're in for SBC? River. River. You won the river title last week. Correct, correct. And then you were champs here at the sectional. Yep. What's it say about Lakota Wrestling and what the direction right now? We're going in the right direction. I mean, we're young. Um, we have one senior, two juniors, uh, 10 sophomores, and 12 freshmen taking nine to uh, districts next week. We're only one of those is a senior. Only one of those, the Franks kids, a senior. That's it. Who, who, by the way, has found another gear. Oh, definitely. This Would year. you agree with that? Oh, definitely. He's, he's, um, his attacks are awesome. He's just wrestling really, really well all year long. His brother was one of the people that missed out on his senior year with COVID, right? Correct, correct. So if you look at it, I think he's figured out that I think i got to start attacking. Correct. His attacks are really good, and he won a crazy semifinal match at the SBC. Yep. Came from behind against a Huron guy. Correct, that was real strong. Yeah, real strong guy, Didn't you know, like kind of robotic guy. Yep, yep. But he came from behind, and his attacks eventually, he broke the guy. Yep. And then in the finals... Right? Yeah, he took it to the tipping point. Aller? Tipping yeah, Aller. Point. He yeah. put it on Aller. So, and then right. tonight, guys kind of give him a little pushback, another big, strong guy, and he just kept chipping away, chipping away. Eventually correct. just pins the guy. Correct, correct, correct. There, there he is. Hey, we're talking about your ears ringing? His ears might be ringing. Yeah, uh, just really methodical, gets to his attacks, and when he hits something, it's there. Oh, it never comes out of position. No, very Pretty good, good position. all the time. Yeah. And, that, and that's something we work on with the young guys. I mean, he, he's a big uh, essential part to this. Being one senior and all these freshmen that are starting in sophomores, you, you got to have a leader, and he's our leader in our room. You guys got a new wrestling room. Correct. I mean, the program is just you got a new K-12 school for the most part. Well, th this is something that we started. All the coaches on our coaching staff started the bidding program 10 years ago. 10 years ago this year. And, Decade in the making. Correct. And, and knowing that we would have... 22 kids this year and we'll have 28 next year so it, it's a wonderful thing but I, I i listen i can't travis crabtree won't leave me alone we're going to app state this summer we're going to app we're state this app state. State. you guys are going to app state with them how huge is the summer wrestling aspect of, of building this like what you're doing it, it's everything i mean our whole team went to jordan's uh, team camp last year uh 18 of them went to Jordan's team camp, and this is what we're building. Summer, wrestling in the summer builds champions in the winter. We tell the kids that every day. So that's why we're going to Appalachian State. We're really excited. Bomer looked amazing last week, come from behind when he's really good on the mat. He kind of gets neutralized in the semifinals today. He battles back, gets third place. What's it mean when you got a young kid like that who leads you, gets an SBC title, maybe falls short a little bit this week, but he moves on next week? What's that mean? What's that say about their character and that freshman class? Yeah, he's gave up a couple back points. You know, in a couple last week in the SBC championship, he gave up some back points. Uh, today for the third place match, he gave up some back points. But the freshman, he's battle. He's battle. I mean, our 57 pounder uh, acquaintance, he's also battling. He's wrestling Connor Smith. That's Looks like he lifts weights every single day. I think I think he <laughs> did. Smith might lift weights for Gibsonburg. I agree. Uh, I agree. I think I say it in every video. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. And that's overwhelming, though. Those oh, guys seem to be getting overwhelmed, but as freshmen, but they keep battling. That's it. That, that's just every period, every second. I mean, keep battling, keep fighting, and that's the message we're sending. All of you guys are like everybody on the coaching staff's old school Lakota guys. Yes. You went to like the old barn school that smelled like cattle. Correct. correct. <laughs> I mean, I taught there for a year. It was oh, like yeah. a crazy thing, right? Like, yeah, totally. it was this old building. It was yep. about the size of this gym, maybe twice the size of this gym, if that. With yellow lights in it. Yeah, and it was just like this old, yep. nasty asbestos building. Now you got a new facility. But all those old school guys seem to come back and stick around Lakota. What's that mean to you guys? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, we, we, we're trying to build a tradition. When in the night, I graduated in 97 from there. Coach Quaintance, Thacker, Bomer, we all graduated in the same years. And I have all their boys on the team now. So, and Cody Roth got second in state in 1991. And we, I put together a coaching staff that loves our school. And, and that's, where, that's where we started. 
uh, is it still largely a farming community? And it's a, it's a massive school district, isn't it? Correct, correct. I like think 160 either, some square miles or either something. Either the crazy. B- biggest school district in the state of Ohio or second biggest school district. It's just massive farmland. Correct. It's all farmland. I mean, everybody. I mean, there's little towns. There's four or five little towns. Rising Sun, Kansas. Bradner, Burgoon. <laughs> Yeah, when Wayne. people ask me where where it is, I'm like, you know, Fostoria, Bowling Green, Fremont, Toledo, Perrysburg, and it's like in between, like almost everything I just named, isn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. Our, our school district goes. If, if you ever drive to Fostoria, Ohio, when you go into the stoplight in the Fostoria, our school district stops right there. That's crazy. And, and when, when you drive all the way to Fremont, our school district stops right there. And when you drive to Tiffin, our school district. Stops That's right wild, there. man. Oh, That's massive. Correct. It's a correct. huge area. Yeah. All right, you got anything else for me? No, 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 just uh, super happy. Super excited that we won sectionals. It was an accomplishment we thought of in the beginning of the year, but, you know, when you're young, you know, them goals are out there. So. For, Ferdinand, do you have questions for him? Mm-hmm. Go ask him. Um, my cousin, um, he, he's on that, um, he's, his team is at App State. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. His cousin. Is. Who are your cousins? Tom, your two um, cousins. Why? And Wyatt and who? Who's the other one? Owen. Well, Owen's here, but who's the other cousin? Older cousin. Ian. 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 Ian's a coach there. Yeah. Awesome. Coach, right. thank you for the time. I got to get you guys some stickers, all right? All right, thank you.